Hello everyone, welcome to System Software and uh, Compilers Module 3 lecture video. In this lecture, we will be looking at uh, error recovery in uh, predictive parsing, bottom up parsing, and uh, shift reduce parser. Error recovery in uh, predictive parsing. An error is uh, detected during uh, predictive parsing when the terminal on the top of the stack uh, does not match the next input symbol or uh, when uh, non-terminal A is on top of the stack and uh, A is the next input symbol and uh, the table entry M A comma A is a uh, error. Panic mode uh, error recovery is uh, based on the idea of uh, skipping a symbols on the input until a token in a selected set of uh, synchronizing tokens appears. Its effectiveness uh, depends on the choice of uh, synchronizing set. The sets should be chosen so that uh, the parser uh, recovers quickly from errors that are uh, likely to occur in practice. Some heuristics are uh, given. As a starting point, uh, place all symbols in uh, follow of A into the synchronizing set for uh, non-terminal A. If we skip uh, tokens until an uh, element of follow of A is uh, seen and uh, pop A from stack, and it is likely that uh, parsing can uh, continue. It is not enough uh, to use uh, follow of A as the synchronizing set for the non-terminal A. For example, if uh, semicolons uh, terminate uh, statements as in C, then uh, keywords that begin uh, statements may not appear in the follow set of the non-terminal representing expressions. We can uh, add to the synchronizing uh, set uh, of a lower level construct uh, the symbols that begin uh, higher level constructs. If we add uh, symbols in uh, first of A to the synchronizing set for uh, non-terminal A, then uh, it may be possible to resume uh, parsing according to A if a symbol in first of A appears in the input. If a non-terminal can uh, generate the empty string, then uh, the production deriving uh, epsilon can be used as a uh, default. Doing so may postpone some uh, error detection but uh, cannot cause an uh, error to be missed. This approach uh, reduces the number of uh, non-terminals that have to be considered during uh, error recovery. If a terminal on top of the stack cannot be matched a uh, simple idea is to pop the terminal and uh, issue a message saying that uh, the terminal was inserted and uh, continue parsing. In effect, this approach uh, takes the synchronizing set of a token to consist uh, of all other uh, tokens. Using first and follow symbols as synchronizing tokens works well when expressions are parsed according to the usual grammar. The parsing table for expression grammar with sync indicating synchronizing tokens is obtained from the 
follow set of the non terminals for uh, the symbols in the follow set of uh, non terminals we need to make a sync entry in the parsing table we need to consider only the non terminals uh, for which uh, the follow sets are not used in the parsing table so in this example uh, the follow set symbols of uh, the non terminal e t and f are not used hence we need to use the follow set symbols of these non terminals and uh, make the sync entry in those columns of uh, the those uh, non terminals so for the e the follow set contains the closing parenthesis and dollar so we need to add a sync in the closing parenthesis and dollar for t we have to enter a sync in a plus closing parenthesis and dollar and for the non terminal f we need to make an entry sync in the plus star and closing parenthesis and the dollar the table is uh, used as follows if the parser looks uh, looks up the entry uh, m a comma a and uh, finds that it is blank then uh, the input symbol a is uh, skipped if the m tree in the table is uh, sync then uh, the non terminal on top of the stack is uh, popped in an attempt to resume uh, parsing if a token on top of the stack uh, does not match the input symbol then uh, pop the token from the stack a bottom up parse corresponds to the construction of a parse tree for an uh, input string beginning at the leaves and uh, working up towards the root it is convenient to describe uh, parsing as the process of building uh, parse trees although a uh, front end may in fact carry out a translation directly without building an uh, explicit tree let us write a sequence of trees that uh, illustrates uh, bottom up parse of the token stream id star id with respect to the expression grammar so the expression grammar is uh, e derives e plus t or t t derives uh, t star f or f f derives uh, parenthesized e or id so the sequence of trees are id star id then uh, second tree will be f id star id the third will be t star id f and id the fourth will be t star f t derives f f derives id this f derives id and then uh, the next will be t derives uh, t star f t derives f f derives id this f derives id and uh, the last tree will be e derives t t derives t star f t derives f f derives id f derives id reductions bottom up parsing is the process of reducing a string w to the start symbol of the grammar at each reduction step a specific substring matching the 
body of uh, production is uh, replaced by the non terminal at the head of that production the key decisions during uh, bottom up uh, parsing are about uh, when to reduce and uh, about what production to apply as the parse proceeds by definition a uh, reduction is the reverse uh, of a step in a derivation the aim of uh, bottom up parsing is therefore to construct a derivation in uh, reverse let us write a derivation that corresponds to the parse shown so e derives e derives t t derives f t star f derives t star id derives t f star id derives id star id this derivation is in fact a uh, rightmost uh, derivation the strings in the in this sequence uh, are formed from the roots of uh, all the subtrees the sequence starts with uh, the input string id star id the first reduction reduces uh, f star id by reducing the leftmost id to f using the production f derives id the second reduction produces uh, t star id by reducing f to t now we have a choice between uh, reducing the string t which is the body of uh, e derives t and uh, the string consisting of uh, the second id which is the body of uh, f derives id rather than uh, reduce uh, t to e the second id is reduced to t resulting in the string t star f this string then uh, reduces to t the parse completes with the reduction of t to the start symbol e handle pruning bottom up parsing during uh, left to right scan of the input constructs a rightmost derivation in uh, reverse informally a uh, handle is a substring that matches the body of a production and uh, whose reduction represents one step along the reverse of a rightmost uh, derivation for example the handles during the parse of uh, id1 star uh, id2 according to the expression grammar are uh, shown although t is the body of the production e derives uh, t the symbol t is not a handle in the sentential form t star id2 if uh, t were uh, indeed uh, replaced by e we would get the string uh, e star id2 e star id2 which cannot be derived from the start symbol e thus the leftmost uh, substring that matches the body of uh, some production uh, need not be a handle 
Uh, rightmost uh, derivation in a reverse can be obtained by handle pruning. That is, we start with a string of terminals w to be parsed. If w is a sentence of the grammar at hand, then uh, let w equals gamma n, where uh, gamma n is the nth right sentential form of uh, sum as yet uh, unknown uh, rightmost derivation. To reconstruct uh, this uh, derivation in uh, reverse order, we locate the handle beta n in uh, gamma n and uh, replace uh, beta n by the head of the relevant production a n derives beta n to obtain the previous uh, right sentential form that is uh, gamma n minus 1. We then repeat this process that is uh, we locate the handle beta n minus 1 in uh, gamma n minus 1 and uh, reduce this handle to obtain the right uh, sentential form gamma n minus 2. By continuing uh, this process, we produce a right sentential form consisting uh, only of the start symbol yes. Then we halt and announce the successful completion of parsing. The reverse of the sequence of uh, productions used in the reductions is a rightmost derivation for the input string. Shift reduced parsing is a form of bottom-up parsing in which a stack holds grammar symbols and an input buffer holds the rest of the string to be parsed. Uh, we will see that the handle always appears at the top of the stack just before it is identified as the handle. During a left to right scan of the input string, the parser shifts uh, zero or more input symbols onto the stack until it is uh, ready to reduce a string beta uh, of uh, grammar symbols on top of the stack. It then uh, reduces beta to the head of uh, the appropriate uh, production. The parser repeats this uh, cycle until uh, it has uh, detected an error or uh, until the stack contains the start symbol and the input is empty. Upon entering uh, this configuration, that is uh, the stack is uh, containing uh, the start symbol of the grammar and uh, the input uh, is uh, empty. At that uh, configuration, the parser halts and announces the successful completion of uh, parsing. The configurations of uh, shift reduced parsers uh, on the input id1 star id2 are shown. The primary operations in the shift reduce parsing are uh, shift and reduce. There are actually four uh, possible actions in a shift reduce parser. Those are uh, shift, reduce, accept and uh, error. Shift. It shifts the next input symbol onto the top of the stack. Reduce. The right end of the string to be reduced must be at the top of the stack. Locate the left end of the string within the stack and decide with what non-terminal to replace the string. Accept. It announces the successful parsing. 
error discover a syntax error and call an error recovery routine there are context free grammars for which shift reduce parsing cannot be used every shift reduce parser for such a grammar can reach a configuration in which the parser Uh, knowing the entire stack contents and uh, next input symbol cannot decide whether to shift or to reduce that is a shift reduce conflict or uh, it cannot decide which of uh, several reductions to make that is a reduce reduce conflict another common setting for uh, conflicts uh, occurs when we know we have a handle but uh, the stack contents and the next input symbol are uh, insufficient to determine which production should be used in a reduction 